this is the video for lesson 59 on my website, Place Value to Billions and More Practice Rounding. In previous lessons we've worked with place value. What we'll do in this lesson is extend that so that we'll be able to handle very large numbers. Let's review what we've learned about place value in previous lessons and then we'll go ahead and extend it. Now in any number the rightmost digit is always called the ones place. It's considered to be in the ones place and we know what numbers like that look like just a single digit. Moving to the left we have the tens place ten times as big as the ones place and numbers there look like this two digits hundreds is three digits we've worked with this in previous lessons in thousands we have four digit numbers and notice how I have to put a comma this is just what we do in math we put a comma in between the thousands place and the hundreds place every three spaces as we move to the left we'll put a comma ten thousands five digit numbers that look like that hundred thousands as we move to the left, each place value is ten times as big as the one on the right. Now, on the screen I've run out of room, so what, I ha what I've done is I've moved to the next line. Pretend that we've moved to the left, to the left of hundred thousands. Ten times bigger than a hundred thousand is a million, and that's a seven-digit number. And it looks like that. I have to put a comma to the left as we move to the left in between every after every three digits we have to put a comma just to make it easier to read ten millions is an eight-digit number it looks like this hundred millions nine digits and finally billions is a ten-digit number and we're going to need an extra comma that helps us to really see that it's billions. Okay, one of the things that you may be asked to do is round one of these large numbers in a particular way. So I'm going to write a very big number. Let me write it and then we can figure out what this number actually is. Okay, it's a very big number but the commas help us figure out what number it is we can see that it's ten digits it actually extends to the billions place okay so we would say that this number is nine billion two hundred sixty three million because the three is in the millions place four hundred fifty six thousand seven hundred eighty two okay let's say you were asked to round this number to the nearest hundred million now recall what we've done in previous lessons first we locate the place that we're rounding to that's this, that's in the hundred millions place according to our chart and then we look at the digit to the right of it. If it's five or higher we round up. If it's four or lower we leave the digit that's to the left of it just the way it is. In this case it's five or higher and so we'll round up and our new number will become nine billion three hundred million and we just have zeros the rest of the way. So the number would simply be read as 9 billion three Okay, this is just a basic lesson helping us extend the place value chart to billions and a little bit more practice rounding. Make sure that you feel fully comfortable with these large numbers. I know that they don't come up that often in everyday life, but they do come up often in math, so make sure that you can fully recognize these large numbers. We'll work with them more later.